All right. Hello, fans. I've got a real treat for you today in what can only be termed the ultimate house party. We've got a match between Latin uh, Lucha Superstar, Super Mercado, and the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, now, when you're watching this match, you're going to be looking at it and be like, well, this is obviously somebody's backyard where they set up a ring, and there's a bunch of obnoxious yahoos uh, drinking Corona beer around the ringside. While this is true... It is also unjustifiable to make that remark, as this is Lou Fez's backyard. Yes, that Lou Fez, the first, not maybe not the first, but definitely one of the best-known NWA champions of all time and a great shooter, would, from time to time, hold house parties in his backyard between up-and-comers such as Super Mercado and established superstars such as the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, Super Mer- uh, Lou Fez is actually under the hood, and he is refereeing this match. And he would do this. And uh, so this is a great treat here. Not a lot of people know about this. A lot of people don't know what did the warrior do after his, some would say disastrous. I wouldn't go that far. But, it, you know, it was maybe a, le- a little bit less successful than we would have liked in, in 1998 when he was in WCW. What did he do after that? Well, this uh, took place in 2000. And uh, this is this is what he did. And uh, I think uh, you'll agree with me that it represents a return to form, a real return to form. And, uh, yeah, I mean, without further ado, I think that's enough introduction, guys. Let's get to the ring. All right. Strains of uh, French Prince of Bel-Air ring through the arena as uh, Super Mercado is about to make his way to the ring. But first out is uh, Luthez, of course, who will be the man in charge, uh, the man under the hood, and the man in the stripes. And Super Mercado, this is a big opportunity for him. He's never fought uh, a superstar of... Uh, the Ultimate Warrior's caliber. And this is going to be uh, a stern test for him. You can see he's wearing his traditional mortarboard uh, jacket, shorts, uh, low-cut sneakers, and ankle socks for this match, which is what he generally wears. A highly superstitious fellow is known to wear, like, whatever brings him to the dance. And he's going to need all the luck he can get for this match because this is going to be a stern test for him. And uh, the Ultimate Warrior... Like I said, he's back in form. He's been training. He's a lot slimmer than he used to be. Uh, he's probably thinking this is a lucha match. We're going to see a lot of high flying, a lot of uh, running, a lot of cardio will be important for this match. Uh, so he's got to try to match up with that. Now you're going to hear, you're not going to hear the Ultimate Warriors theme because WWF would not allow that to be used for this match. But they used the closest approximation they could find, and I think you'll agree, you could barely tell the difference. Um, and uh, we're awaiting his entrance, the, the return of the Ultimate Warrior, just a couple of years after uh, his WCW run. And uh, fans all glued to the entranceway here. And here he comes, like a bolt of lightning. And you can see right there, looking very much like the Warrior of old. Uh, you can see him running. Look at the enthusiasm here, shaking the ropes, just like before. That's a new move right there. Uh, but... And Super Mercado, probably not his game plan to uh, start begging for mercy immediately in the match. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly where Mercado's thinking. But definitely Mercado is a very uh, slippery fellow. He's been on a winning streak. He looks to continue that against the Ultimate Warrior. But look at the Ultimate Warrior. He is just looking top form. He's got the physique. He's got the energy. He's got the hair. He's got the outfit. He's got everything put together to be able to to go one-on-one with anybody in the world right now, and we're lucky to be seeing him right here in Luthez's backyard. And, uh, yeah, all right. Super Mercado a little tentative, although he wants to go for a test of strength there. Uh, I don't know if that's good. Oh, he's taking off the jacket. He must be pretty serious about this. Test of strength with a warrior, not exactly a good idea. I mean, you look at the warrior. That guy's got strength for, for days. Super Mercado looking for... Support for the fans is probably not going to get a lot against the Warrior, particularly that he called out to a couple of sides where there's no fans at. But here we go. All right. He's looking He's looking like he's ready to go. Mercado got the hand up. He's ready for it. No, but he's a little frustrated over things I really don't understand. I try to explain the action to you folks, but sometimes I just can't. All right. Here we go. Test of strength here. 
Test of Strength coming up. Very nicely done. Oh, and a really kind of a loose type dancer's grip you can see uh, that we've got there from Supermercado, but it is effective. It is causing pain, pain to that wrist of the Ultimate Warrior. And if he's able to take out the wrist, he won't be able to use the Gorilla Press Slam. Oh, nope, nope. We'll look at that Warrior reversing it using that amazing physique. And a big kick to the midsection and follows it up down hard, down hard with a well-executed suplex. How is he going to follow it up? The warrior seems content to just kind of stand and intimidate. And intimidating he is doing. Two, Super Mercado now slowly stalks into the corner. Mercado yells peace and love, but that ain't going to get it. Hard left hand. Is he going to fire him? Is fire him into the corner? No. Mercado won't allow, but the strength of the warrior is too much. What's coming next? He runs in. Big splash. Big splash on another left hand. And Mercado is at the Warriors' mercy. Super Mercado is going to have to figure something out. Oh, and did he? Is he doing a claw to the lower ab? I believe that's a claw to the lower abdomen right now. And, uh, yeah, he turned it around. Could this be a power bomb? Big time power bomb coming up. Got him up. Not qu Oh, and he chooses a pancake move. And that might have been a calculated move to where he thought, wait, wait, no, we've got a pitting combination. Ref in position. One, two. No, we won't get him. Uh, it might have been a calculated thing in which he thought the Ultimate Warrior's back was too strong and therefore dropped him on his front. Big leg drop. That could be it. But the Warrior's right next to the ropes. And, and he's got the presence of mind. He's a ring general. He knows to grab onto those ropes. And Marcato, who is, I believe, been putting on some weight for this match in anticipation of this match, is a little winded right now, and the Warrior is just starting to get strong. Look at that. Every time you think the Warrior is down, every time you think he's finished, he gets right back up, and look at that. He's staggering with the amount of power he has. He he was staggered with the amount of power. Look at that running across the road. What Mercado got to do? Big back body drop. Big. Did you see the height he got on him? And that's going to stop ultimate warriors momentum right there and now a pump handle action slam which he's doing in an alternate fashion in which he doesn't hook the arm under the armpit but over the armpit got him up and actually turns it into a nasty power on you see his head hit the ground all right he and what's he doing uh i don't know why the ref's not counting that's a pinning combination uh but he only gets a two there maybe if the ref had counted from the beginning he would have got the pin oh he calls the referee a pendejo, which I believe is Spanish for referee. And uh, he is not happy about this, but the Warriors back up. The Warriors got his second win. The Warrior with the left hand. The Warrior looks like he's picking him up for a Samoan drop, and he just drops him down. He just drops him down. Are we going to see it? We might see it. He's going to see it. Yes, the big splash. It's got to be over one, two, and three, and that's the end of that. There's nobody who can survive a move like that, folks. And now the warrior triumphantly running the ropes to the strains of his own song and runs right to the back very quickly. Mercado lay there dejected. And that may, in fact, have been the high point of Mr. Super Mercado. He is crushed. But we have seen the ultimate in excitement, the ultimate in exhilaration, and the ultimate in spectacle from the Ultimate Warrior coming out and having that classic match, vanquishing Super Mercado, despite Super Mercado's many powerful moves that he hit the Ultimate Warrior. I don't think I've ever seen the Ultimate Warrior press to the limit like that. I don't think I've ever seen him press the limit. Like, we're going to take a look in a minute to see how this all went down, but they're bringing out the fluorescent light tubes for the upcoming Vergania match there. So that'll be a really good one. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a I take a look back at uh, how it all went down. So you see here, big power bomb, but he elects to do a pancake-like maneuver there. Nicely done. But it wasn't enough. Pump handle action slam. This is the one I thought it was all over. I've never seen him take a move like this before. Bam. And he goes, he's going to go for the pinning combination, and the referee's slow to get in there. I'm not sure why. I think he should have just started counting from the beginning, and Super Mercado might have got it. That might be his whole career right there. But in the end, it was the Samoan drop off the back of sorts, and then the big splash that brought the victory for the Ultimate Warrior. What a great win. What a great match, folks. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, make sure to send me links for other great matches, and I will be happy to call them. It's such a great experience. Good night, folks.